Well, that's a little bit of an uncomfortable close-up. Hey guys, what's up? Jay here, and you know what? Today I figured we'll go ahead and start Project Skunk Works. Now, rather than do how I did Project Red Mist, this is really hard to, to do here, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do this a little bit vloggy style. Now, yeah, I'm actually holding out a DSLR camera uh, on a tripod sort of thing right now so that I could do this. But I wanted, so the audio is going to suck, and, but I wanted to get you guys involved in this build. Now, why am I calling it Project Skunk Works? Pretty much because the case which I'm using, as you can see behind me right there, is the Case Labs SM88 in their gunmetal color. It was their very first gunmetal SM88 that they built, and it looks an awful lot like the color of like the Stealth Fighter. If you take a look at it, it's very, it's very grayish, uh, but it's not really primer color. It's not gray. It's not black. It looks very stealthish. And Skunk Works was actually the name of the project for the Raptor F22 project. So that's why I thought of Project Skunk Works. So anyway, this can be very vloggy style build. There'll probably be a few videos. It's not going to be as extravagant as Red Mist. Unfortunately, my own builds never get to be as good as the builds I build for other people. I just can't be down without the computer as long as uh, you know, the people who I'm building for can because they don't have the computer to begin with. My computers are what bring me or bring you guys these videos. Now this is what we're replacing. Uh, the 900D, we've got a 480 in the bottom, a 480 in the top, and the only parts that are getting reused from this are the 780s right there, the V1200 power supply, I'm not convinced I'm going to use the Corsair RAM yet, but we also are going to be reusing obviously all of my cables, and uh, pretty much the radiator fans on the bottom and the, the top there. Everything else, uh, oh, and the SSD is going to be reused. I guess pretty much a lot of the computer is going to be reused, but we're also going to be making room for all this stuff to make its way in there as well. Radiator, we're going to be using the 560 obviously by Alpha Cool. Unfortunately, this guy got damaged in transit. It's got a dent on it, but it's purely cosmetic. And uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to waste this radiator. I mean, we'll, I'll show you guys the damage in a little bit, but it's just cosmetic. It's not even going to show in the build, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. The EVGA Z97 classified motherboard, I've decided on this bad boy. We've got our X3, uh, EK Res X3 is right there, 250 millimeter res. I've got the uh, optional pump top, or uh, pump tops, yeah. The optional EK tops right there, so I have more options on fittings. An entire box of Alpha Cool fittings, because there's lots of things you need when you're doing this. Uh, I've got a few boxes of these, I just put one out. These are the Primo Chill acrylic hardline tubing. Uh, flexible tubing for behind the build. A whole bunch of Mod My Toys fan splitters on there. Uh, two terabyte Toshiba drive that I'm adding to the build so I have more storage for the YouTube videos. Had to get myself some AF120 fans because we are going to be doing airflow uh, in this build. And then we have also got uh, another AF140 because I needed four 140s for this guy and I only had three. Now obviously that's not everything for the build. I mean, <sighs> this is not going to be, like I said, a complete build log, but it's going to be more of a build vlog if that makes sense. So the very first thing I'm going to do right now is you may see I've got all of those fan rings back there. Uh, I've got to paint all of those to match this build. I'm not going with the same color paint I did in this guy because it's a different color yellow that I'm using for this build rather than the pasty pastel yellow that my Z77 OC formula board had. And since there's no yellow on this motherboard, I can make the yellow match the cables that are in there rather than having to go with that pastel color. So I'm going to have a brighter yellow in this build. I hope it turns out well with the gunmetal. Gun I guess we're just going to see. So let's go ahead and paint these fan rings, shall we? And for that, I'm using rust because I get asked this so much. How do you paint your rings? We just grab paint and... It dries, and you have a yellow ring. It's not that hard. But I'm using the Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel. It takes about two to four hours to dry it to the touch. Yeah, with that, guys, let's go ahead and paint these rings. Okay, so there we go. I've got my cardboard set up here, just on some trash cans, and I've got an old piece of wood hutch that's going in the trash to weight it all down so the wind doesn't flip it over. That would make me have a very bad day. But I've got 16 fans going in this build. Yep, 16 fans because I'm doing push-pull on the 480 rad. So yeah, we got more fans for that. So let's go ahead and get all these rings painted yellow so it looks nice and sexy, and then we'll move on to the motherboard and the CPU block. This thing blows hard, man. It 
push these rings out of the way. Holy crap. Now this is going to take a couple of coats. There's coat number one. Here's that dent I told you about, and, uh, and it's not Alpha Cool's fault. What happens is some of these boxes get dropped by the shipper, and the weight of the radiator actually damages the tank. So they're currently looking at redoing all the packaging for these radiators, that way this doesn't happen again. Because the 560 Rad, I mean, it's pretty massive, and it's all copper, so it's actually got some weight to it. Now this is all cosmetic, there's no damage to the fittings or anything, so it's not gonna show. It just kind of sucks that that dent is there. But, uh, you know, like I said, purely cosmetic and uh, still going to perform just as good. But in the meantime, yeah, they are redoing the packaging to try and absorb the drops a little bit better. I mean, you can see in the, the box right here, the box is not damaged in any way. But what happens is the weight of the radiator moving in that box, if the box gets dropped and it just kind of jerks like that, it, uh, yeah, that's what happens. But as you can see, you can't even really see it when you look at it from the right angle anyway, so... Uh, no complaints here. It's kind of a downer, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, while we're waiting for all of the rings to dry, we can't do anything with the fans or the radiators yet. So we're gonna go ahead and get the motherboard, CPU, and uh, water block installed. And my arm looks freaky like that with that wide-angle lens. Holy crap! <laughs> So now we, ow, I just hit my elbow. Okay, so now we've got the motherboard installed on the motherboard tray. The back plate taken off. Let's go ahead and get the uh, 4790K uh, in there and the EK uh, Acetal Nickel Supreme, uh, Supremacy Clean CSQ uh, water block on there. I think it looks sweet. I love that water block. Look at it in all its glory. It's so plain, it's awesome. Now I think I called it the nickel version, but I, I remember now I got the uh, copper version because I always get copper where it doesn't show uh, It's just better cooling capacity usually in just a little you know, small amount nothing major But it doesn't get seen so it doesn't matter if it's nickel or copper. I'd rather have copper where things don't show uh, But look at all the hardware. I mean you get a lot of hardware with this. Let's turn the brightness down AMD brackets uh, comes automatically, you know with the uh, a or Intel on there you probably hear my kid yelling in the background. Oh my goodness it even comes with the Gelid uh, thermal compound, so good stuff. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy over here where it belongs. All right, time to install the 4790K. See if we can do this one-handed without jacking something up, man. Uh, it's the first time I've actually inspected the pins on this. Let's make sure the pins all look good. Pins look fantastic. Let's go ahead and wind this up. And... Pop. And it's installed. I love the way this thing just pop off. Mm. It's kind of funny. Primo Chill tries to pack everything nice, but this is the way it arrives anyway. Everything just flopping around the box. And unfortunately, fortunately, some of the fittings get. N well, you can't really see it. Some of the fittings get nicks on them. See that right there? Because of the way they flop around in the box. If you ask me, Primo Chill should really. Uh, reconsider the way they pack these. That's just the way it opened up. But anyway, let's go ahead and get two of these bad boys installed over here. Pure sexiness. These are the Primo Chill Revolver hardline fittings for, uh, you know, the acrylic tubing that I'm going to be using. The tubing. Look at that. Love the way these look. So I'm a dork. I put everything together and I got it all in the motherboard tray and the block and everything on. See, there's the block over there. And I was like, Oh, crap, I forgot to bench test this motherboard to make sure it works. So, as you can see, it works. Now, I'm going to show you something really cool and what I love about this motherboard. 
This motherboard has right there, you can see it right there. It's got a BIOS speaker built in. And I love BIOS speakers. Yeah, they sound like 1995, but I love the sound they make when they turn on. Listen, it just sounds cool. I mean, come on, that's just awesome, right? Come on. Z97 classified. Boom. Yes. So now we'll just go ahead and, you know, put everything back the way it was. Remember, kids, bench test your stuff before you start installing it or you waste time like I did. You'd think I'd know better by now. It is time for the ceremonial return of the motherboard tray. I'm hearing, like, the Halo music playing in my head right now. Oh, that is gonna look so sweet. That is gonna look like so awesome. All right, we're thoroughly making a mess in this place now. Well, let's go check on the fan rings. I apologize about the noise. The neighbor's air conditioner is running right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, getting there. We've got two coats on this already. Not looking too bad. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, let's take one of these and stick it in there and see how the yellow looks against the uh, gunmetal, shall we? I just want to show you real quick what I mean about the, the color difference of the rings. You can see those are more of a gold color, and these are a much brighter yellow. It's kind of hard to see, I guess, but yeah, it's a brighter yellow, which more matches my cables in there. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. Now, I'm a fan of yellow. I know a lot of people don't like the yellow, but I have always loved yellow. But not in cars, ironically. I've just never been a yellow car fan much. that in there come on ah this is hard to do with one hand <laughs> that's what she said all right so there we go nice yellow fan ring oh, it looks cool Woo! and let's see how it looks in there yeah i think that's gonna look pretty badass I, i'm just gonna say that now i think that is gonna look badass all right so we've got all the yellow rings here on the airflow fans and these are going to be going in the front right here now so the last thing we're going to do in this vlog then what we'll be done for today is to get these guys installed in the front and then uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do next later on this week, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure, but we'll see. I want this built together and I want it done fast. So let's go ahead and get these fans installed. Alright, there we go. All the front fans are in there, painted. Uh, I've got to deal with the wires. can't really see that too good, can you? I've got to deal with the wires later in my next one. The motherboard's installed, water blocks installed, rear fans installed. All the rings are painted. Uh, I'll be able to do push-pull on the top. Didn't do anything yet in the bottom, I got all the 140s painted. So yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll snap the uh, front cover back on here and then we'll wrap up the first version of Jay's vloggy build. What are we gonna call that? Jay's vloggy build. There we go. All right, front cover's back on. I love the way the rings show up through there because it's a dark color. All right, there you go, guys. That's part one here of my personal rig update. I'll start tearing some parts out of the 900D uh, when I get closer to that. I don't want that computer to be down uh, any longer than it has to be. I'm waiting on a Plextor SSD to arrive. So I'm going to have two SSDs and two mechanical drives in this build. It's, the part I'm still torn on is how I want to do the reservoirs. I don't know if I'm going to do anything custom with those at all, so I guess we'll wait and see. But that's been part one here of Project Skunk Works. Hope you guys like the vlog style of this. Let me know what you guys think. I put a few pictures up on Instagram as I was doing this, so follow on Instagram and Twitter if you're not. Jace Two Cents is the handle for both of those. And as always, guys, I hope to see you in the next one.